Cosmetic items in video games help players personalize their experience while playing. Whether it is the over 1000 skins that have been released for League of Legends, the little legends and boards for teamfight tactics, the gun skins and bodies in Valorant, or the guardians, card bags and emotes for Legends of Frontera, Riot Games is the master in terms of cosmetics. Today we're going to be looking into how the skins for League of Legends will be adapted to Legends of Frontera. Most of this video is just speculation, so please make sure to share your opinions in the comments. Join me as we dive deep into my favorite part of the world of Frontera, the alternate universes and cosmetics that bring them to life in the game. Back in January, the Legends of Frontera team released the 2021 roadmap, including some of the events and additions that are going to come to the game during the first half of the year. Among them, the champion skins are set to be released in May. In the past, the developers have shared their intention of adding champion card skins to the game, and they have confirmed that they wouldn't change how the card works, as this would be a cosmetic feature that you can turn on and off in your collection. The examples provided were some of these flash arts from League of Legends without any modification, clarifying that they were just placeholder images and that these examples aren't representative of how skins would work in the game. As we approach May, the community has started to speculate how skins are going to work in the game. Are they just going to be new art placed on the top of the cards? Are we going to get a new level of animation? Will we see other cosmetic items releasing alongside them? Currently, we are unsure of how these skin drops will work and what will be released alongside them. However, if we look at the current cosmetics available in the game, we can get an idea of what is most likely going to happen. Before we get into the card skins and what they will entail, let's look at the other cosmetic items that will most likely accompany them. Like with Teamfight Tactics' very own Little Legends, the Guardians from Legends of Frontera have had multiple variations usually attached to events or new sets that have been released, embodying their themes and some of them being introduced into the skin universes. This is a trend that we expect to continue with future skins that are part of a big universe, like Project, Star Guardian or Odyssey. We can also say that boards are going to be a part of future releases. We already have boards that cover whole skin thematics and others that are champion specific. So it is a no-brainer to combine them and bring champion-specific skin boards to the game in the future. And finally, let's look at the card packs. We currently have multiple champion skins represented as card packs. All the members of KDA, Yasuo, Yoni, Thresh, and Timo from Spirit Blossom, and Misfortune and Aphelios from the Lunar Beasts. So, it is extremely obvious that this trend will continue in the future. After all, it was the first representation of skins that we had in the game. And it would be a missed opportunity if card bags are not released at the same time as some of the skins. It comes without saying that we shouldn't expect each champion skin to come with its own board, card bag and guardian. I think we will see them alongside the popular themes and skins, as the developers will most likely invest their time and resources on cosmetics that are guaranteed to make a profit. Let's shift our focus onto the champion skins themselves. We currently know that we will get new artwork for each of their versions, replacing the original level 1, level 2 and ascended images. However, the question on everybody's mind is, are we going to get new level up animations and visual effects for each of these skins? The most likely answer is no, not every skin will get them. We don't know the price range of the skins, Therefore, we don't know what they will include. If Legends of Frontera follows the League of Legends value system, we can expect some of the skins to just consist of new artwork. And epic and legendary skins could have a new level up animation, new visual effects for their skills, and possibly new voice lines. We could even see ultimate skins that change the visual effects and artwork for cards related to them. Of course, this is just speculation, and we probably won't know what the developers have in mind until they make an official announcement. And even then, they could make changes for future skin releases, bringing new features or completely overhauling the champion skin system. 
So which skin lines are going to be added? If I was a betting man, I would say that Star Guardian, Project, Arcade and Pulsefire are the most likely to be added, as these are some of the fan favorite themes. However, I must say that these skin lines are usually tied to events in League of Legends, and I wouldn't be surprised if they're going to be released alongside Legends of Frontera events, instead of on their own. I expect to see a mix back of skins, some from big events, others from less popular ones. And maybe some new themes will be introduced exclusively to Legends of Frontera in the future, like they did with Wild Rift. But who knows. Finally, one question remains. Are all of the existing champions going to get a skin? My guess is that when skins hit the live servers, we will probably get at least one skin for all champions. Or skins might come in batches, leaving a pool of champions waiting to get their own cosmetic item. Going with the first option makes more sense, as this ensures that every player has at least one option for their favorite cards, instead of waiting for their favorite champion to get a skin. Before we finish off the video, I would also like to draw your attention to the 2021 roadmap once again. On May 19th, we're set to get a themed event, and we're almost certain to get skins related to it, although I doubt that it will be able to cover all of the champions. If you're interested in the possible theme for this event, I would recommend you check out this video from the Skilled Roy, where he points out which theme would make more sense for this event. You can find his video linked in the description and as an annotation. This is all the speculation surrounding the addition of skins to Legends of Frontier. One thing that we have to keep in mind is that the developers will prioritize not harming the gameplay clarity, since going all over the top might hinder the player's experience. Regardless of what gets added to the game, we know that it has been made with passion and love for the game and the player base, like every addition to Legends of Frontera before. Now I want to hear from you. Which skins do you want to see in the game? Leave them down in the comments.